this is how I step out of the house every day, going to work, going to shopping, going to meet with people, going to school meetings. This is how you will find me. Subtle but glam. The lippy also takes this makeup look to another level. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Ziana Washington. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post new videos. So today's video is about my everyday makeup look. I wear makeup like every single day. Never have I ever been to the office without makeup not a single day in my life so i'll be showing you how i do i try to keep it minimal and basic but still try to achieve that smooth flawless finish yeah so um my face is already uh toned i use my rose water my holy grail it's in a bottle so I just spray it all over my face then after that i use my Serum. This is vitamin C by Dr. Rochelle. It's so good, so nice to skin. You can try and check it out and try. Let me know if it works for you. Then I proceed to use my cream. I believe it's very important to use a cream after you've toned and moisturized because it seals the moisture into your skin. So I use this cream. It's a the day cream. They also have a night cream. I'm here to try that. So once I do, I'll be able to tell you the results of it. This one works well. It works wonders to my skin. It keeps my skin moisturized, feeling fresh, and it also smells so nice. It smells like a like a newborn baby girl. You know that that kind of nice smell that comes with a newborn baby. <laughs> yeah, but also it leaves my skin feeling smooth, soft. And it also uh, makes it even. So you can check it out. I bought mine on Jumia. They are still available. So after that, I proceed to prime. So the so the primers I use uh, vary. So I can use a matte primer. I can use a um, dewy, you know, kind of primer. So depending on the makeup look I want to achieve for the day. But on the days that I know I'll be out of the office and the weather like looks like so hot, I'll definitely use a matte primer. So this brand is what I'm currently kind of using. So once we're done with priming, that those days that I will do foundation first, then my powder, or sometimes I do the powder beneath the foundation. So today I feel like um, doing the powder first. No. Yeah. So before you even get to that stage of foundation, powder, powder, foundation first, I like to conceal the whole of my face. I believe it gives me a good base to allow my foundation to glide and be absorbed smoothly into my skin. But the trick is to find a concealer that is your skin complexion, exact skin complexion. So my shade is Toffee and I'm gonna apply it all over my face. And you don't need to use much, just like that. This is enough because you can see it's my skin color even if i was to use the match of it it would still blend perfectly there's a day i didn't have foundation the foundation had just ran out and i had ordered mine on jimmy and it was come the following day but that was on wednesday and i couldn't go to the office like that so i just used my concealer and nobody even noticed so the trick is just find a shade that is a skin complexion this is my routine i'm not saying go ahead and put concealer before your foundation or concealer the whole of your face this is my routine it works for me makeup is a nut and you are free to experiment whatever works you don't have to do like what is written or what everybody else is doing just what works for you is perfect but you can try it out and you make it a trend yeah <laughs> you can make it a trend so my concealer is done 
remember it's morning and everything is in a rush. I have to make sure that they, the the boys have finished taking their breakfast and I'm still keeping time to make sure that the school bus does not leave them behind. Also, the little one is very playful in the morning. They wake up so energetic. So I'll still keep an eye on him as I do my makeup. So next, I'll use my powder first before my foundation. Then I'll focus more of it on my chisel areas where I'm likely to sweat, that is these areas here. So once I'm done with the powder now I'll go to my foundation. I'm using the MAC. And the good thing about this foundation is that I don't need to use much just this is enough i even feel like it's excess but we'll see we'll blend it out so today i've not used my dr russia sun cream here it is because i'm trying to achieve a matte look because this one makes me so glowy and dewy but since you're achieving a a matte look we are not going to be using that today but it's very important to apply sunscreen sunscreen it is really really important i haven't incorporated that yet into like my routine of like i've never bought a sun cream because i feel like my products yeah have like enough <laughs> spf i'm not sure whether that is correct but um or a good thing to do but like I use like three to four products that have like SPF 100, SPF 15, SPF 50. So I feel like I'm covered. <laughs> I don't know how many of you are like me. So I've just been too lazy to like go shop for a sun cream. But I will, I'm considering that I have come to understand the importance of it. So I'll be doing that. I'm a believer of blenders and not brushes. <laughs> But someone commented in one of my videos on YouTube and told me that um, I'm creating an excuse. <laughs> it's not an excuse, guys. I believe blenders work perfectly well compared to brushes. I mean, with brushes, it's, it's a lot of work. You know, blending, some say it's a lot of work. But when you get used to it, it's so simple. So I believe when you're using a beauty blender and you're constantly like dabbing like I am doing, you are massaging your face. And me, I'm for all techniques that <laughs> are good for the skin. So if this is a, like a face exercise, why not do it? So, yeah. So I'm just responding to your comment right now. <laughs> I'm not creating an excuse. Or she said that I'm creating an excuse and that um, I need to find a perfect set of brushes that will like blend my foundation evenly so which brand is that you didn't mention the brand and <laughs> go back and comment and tell me the brand or set of brushes where i need to get them from and then i will try them out but i am for beauty blenders they are called blenders for a reason because they blend <laughs> Now the foundation is out of the way, so next is to just conceal under my eyes. I started doing this like this year, 2020, but the previous years I wasn't because I don't even know why. So, like that, then around the nose, also on my forehead, and a little bit on my chin. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm done with my concealer under my eyes. Next is doing the brows and I don't do that much as well. Sometimes I just 
fill them in just like this with my pencil because I feel my brows already have shape but they're just spars <laughs> so with my pencil I just fill in the areas that I feel are missing and like that I'm done I go to work but if I have the time I'll go the way I just outline fill and do a little bit of cleaning so let's get into it Then I just use my concealer and I'll be using the same concealer that is my skin complexion because using a light concealer it is a total mistake because you'll take so much blending it out that you'll get light. So use a concealer that matches your skin complexion or you can use your foundation but I chose to use my concealer. So I am done my brows are neatly cleaned and it didn't take me much time like when I'm going to work in the morning I see ladies with some I don't know let me call it white residue yeah from the concealer under their eyes here and I'm like really just make your work is in the morning hmm? it doesn't really look nice that white light residue under your brows it doesn't look good it doesn't look good sis it does not look good you just blend properly till it's all clean and if you can't do that just use a concealer that matches the skin complexion or a foundation for both the top and the bottom of the brows and you will look neat okay okay moving on <laughs> i barely do my eyeshadows when i'm going to work because of time and i've said time a thousand times yeah but if I had all the time in the world, I would be that lady who pops into the office with eyeshadow every day. But if I have to, which I sometimes do on Thursdays and on Fridays, I just go to my palette and use the most neutral colors. So on the crease, I'll use this shade here. It's called Burkina. So I'll be using my fluffy brush to do that and also in circular motions beginning from the outer corner of the eye from the outer corner of the eye towards the inside so once I'm done I'll pick another brush same kind a fluffy one 
and go to this second shade it's called Zulu So once that is done, I again go to Burkina, just dab a little bit of it and blend the two colors at the top. Just to remove the harsh lines and where the two shades meet. So once that is done, I'll just take a little bit of my concealer and use my earlier brush just on the inner corner of the eye so that you can apply the last color Then I go to my brown shade here. That is my final eye look. This is ideal for everyday eye look. Good for meetings. Also for a person like me who wears glasses like all the time. So this is ideal. It's not too much. It's subtle. It's neutral. It's calm. I don't do wing liners. But I use mascara. So I just comb my lashes to elongate them. Yeah, so like I said, I don't do eyelashes, I just use mascara, neither do I draw uh, the wing liners because I feel like that's just too extra for work. Also considering we have important two meetings, we have client visits, so you can't go to a meeting looking like you're going to a party. So wing liners for me are a no-no. You have to go to work looking official, professional, not like you're going to a party. Also depending on our office culture eyeshadows should be neutral colors but maybe fridays if you know you're gonna be going out with the girls you know with your colleagues you can go a bit extra but depending on your office culture also uh the lashes you shouldn't have those dramatic ones just have the small ones uh i wish i had mine here i don't have them but I've used them on another video where they're just so minimal like someone even can't notice like you are you're having eyelashes they just blend in perfectly and look like they're your real lashes so yeah so I'm done with the eyes <laughs> the next thing for me would be the lipstick my lipstick has to just pop I love popping colors I like bright colors so I do the red I do pinks I do purples sometimes I'll go neutral and do browns and I also use cream lipsticks that are of lighter shades so today I'll be trying out this new lippy by okay it's not it's not new it's new to me this lippy by Huda. I haven't opened it. I remember promising you that I would try it on another video. It's the Vamp. Oh, it's not focusing, but it's Vamp. I've been wanting to try out this lippy forever. So if it's nice, it's gonna be part of my everyday lipsticks for work remember i showed you diva i'm still so this lipstick is so good yani it's so pigmented smells so nice so soft and light on the lips 
so i'm hoping this one the van will also be great as diva oh it's a dark color okay it looks much lighter on the camera but it's not that light this is the shade so here we go <laughs> i'm super excited Hmm. still smells the same like the other one the one one like it has cocoa butter smell in it okay here we go So this one is a bit lighter compared to Diva because for Diva I like used one dip and it was enough for the whole lips. It also doesn't dry out fast. <laughs> wow like i didn't expect this actually i thought it would be more of um joanna case and apologetic like the shade but no it's not this one is a little bit darker and it's so light on the lips let me see if i can build it up without it flaking And it can like look at this shape now this is the lippy for every day i'm so loving it i mean i feel so extra but it's so vamp it's bold at the same time it's calm but at the same time it announces your presence you know i'm so loving this shade i'm so loving how it feels on my lips it's so light i don't even feel like i'm wearing a lipstick and i love how it looks on my skin and it goes so well with this makeup look that i was showing you my everyday makeup look that i was showing you on this video actually this is not what i expected it looks so nice again i am sold <laughs> i am so sold to this one it goes to my collection and yeah this is my final look so on a regular day i'll just let my hair down let me try and unravel my hair so i don't do a highlight as well this is my multi-purpose week <laughs> so on a, on, a, on a normal day i would wear down my hair like this then finally my rose water to finish off. And so I am done. This is my everyday makeup look. So this is how the makeup looks let me give you an up close so the foundation the eyeshadow and the lipstick i am so loving this look i love how the look 
looks <laughs> okay i'm used to seeing myself looking like this every day but i had to show you how i glam up every day going for work for school meetings and all my day errands this is how you will find me looking so guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video kindly like subscribe hit the notification bell also share so guys let's engage in the comment section thank you so much for all of you who watch and comment on my video and give it a thumbs up i really appreciate your love so tell me what kind of makeup look you'd want to see me do next or a review you'd want to see me do next and i would gladly do it so yeah this is me my makeup look every day we are done